Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is the IXL Algebra 1 X2 graphs of exponential functions. I'm going to give you a quick idea how to do this. So I'm going to use a really, really small net to try to figure out what's going on. I'm going to throw out x equals 0, and I'm going to throw out y equals, excuse me, x equals 0, and I'm going to throw out x equals 1. Let's see what happens. At x equals 0, this is 1 fourth to the 0 power. That is 1 times 3 is 3 plus 5 is 8. So x equals 0, y equals 8. And now let's put a 1 into it. 1 fourth to the first power is 1 fourth times 3 turns that into 3 fourths plus 5 turns it into 5 and 3 fourths. So now I need to match these points up with the graph. So I have 0, 8, 0, 8. That doesn't match this graph. 0, 8, this graph matches, but does 1 and 5 and 3 fourths match? No, that one doesn't match. Now I have to erase these uh, so I can scroll down, but I'm looking for 0, 8, and 1 and 5 thirds. 5 and 3 fourths to me. 0, 8, 1, and 5 thirds, 0, 8, 1, and 5 and 3 fourths. This is this one right here. This is the guy. Okay, let's try one more. Which equation matches this graph? Once again, I'm going to be looking at x equals 0, and what's the y that goes with that, and x equals 1. And what's the y that goes with that? Okay, let's see what happens here. So, if I put in 0, a 0 needs to come out. Let's see. 3 to the 0 power is 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 plus... So this is an option right here. This one, if I plug in a 0, 1 third to the 0 power is 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That one works. Okay, so everything is looking good at 0, isn't it? Putting a 0... Uh, this one doesn't work. Right? This guy doesn't work. If I put in 0 right here, 4 to the 0 power is 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. This one doesn't work. Plug in a 0. This one's not going to work because of the 1 third. Okay. So I've narrowed it down to these two guys. So at x equals 0, y equals 0. At x equals 1, I need something like a 3. Okay. x equals 1 x equals 1, that's going to be 3 to the first power is 3, times negative 4 is negative 12, plus 4 is negative 8. That gives me a negative 8, not the 3. That doesn't work. Let's plug in a 1 here. 1 third to the first power is 1 third times negative 4 is negative 4 thirds. So I have negative 4 thirds plus Four. So that's going to be something in the realm of, what would that be, like 2 and something, which is right about there, 2 and something. It's this one right here. This guy matches that guy right there. Okay. So bottom line, what you want to do is you want to look at what's happening at when you have x equals 1 and x equals zero. Basically, you're just throwing out a really small net, right? Here's our net with x's, with an x, and a y. And you're going to plug in just zero and one and see what happens over here. That's the method. 